Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and as you can see, today I'm going to be breaking down a real fun and cool tutorial on how to do a swap shirt effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! So recently, I did a cool effect for one of my vlogs, and I wanted to share the knowledge and the gems and show you guys how to do the same thing and it's a swap shirt effect it's pretty easy to implement first right now I'm gonna break down the process of actually filming this so get a tripod and set up your camera I shoot everything in 4k it doesn't have to be 4k do whatever fits you and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to have your shirt you're gonna want to have two shirts so sit down on a chair like I am right here I'm sitting down and act like it's flying right off of you and keep doing that do like maybe three or four takes what feels right and you know for best results add more drama to it and really get down okay and then once you do that make sure everything's still in place the chair everything switch shirts like I did here and do the same effect and you know yeah get down with it so once you have that maybe like three takes so we could choose from when we edit that's when the fun part happens and the time is now where I actually break down how to complete this effect in Final Cut Pro 10 you're gonna want to add your scene that you shot right here and we're gonna scrub through I'll move that over boom I like the way that looks I'm gonna hit the blade tool or hit B on your keyboard for a shortcut. That's cool too. I'm gonna go with the first one. Um, I was really feeling the first one. Do what you wanna do. And then we're gonna scrub through the footage over here. And we're gonna wanna choose where we do the swap again. So we start right here. All right. Boom. That's a little too dramatic for me. Nah, I'm not really feeling that. I'm gonna keep it plain Jane. Plain Jane, roll it. No bust down today. Boom, okay, I like that. I'm gonna hit the blade tool, get rid of that. Now the fun part is we're gonna wanna combine these two so it gives that effect that I swapped it of my shirt instantly. So right there, you can see the shirt is flying and we're gonna move the second clip that we shot in a different shirt right over it as you can see I have my fist right here I want to match it up as good as possible if you really want to dial it in the second clip you come up here and you go to the opacity and we could drop that down and we can really dial in like when I make that that pull so right here, as you can see, like I'm grabbing my shirt and at that release point, that's what we want right there. Uh, actually looks pretty good. Let's see. All right, we could do a little bit better. We could do a little bit better. I'm gonna move this here because we got our scene. Okay. So we want it as soon as that opens up. We got, we're getting close. We're gonna, we want to get it like when it's pulling up, that's when the shirt swap's going to happen. So I'm going to move this clip up a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting more realistic. There we go. I can live with that. Just like that. And there we have it. And then we just tone this down real quick. And you guys could really dial this in. Take your time. I don't use any any transitions and stuff. I want this to look as organic as possible. And when you guys achieve this effect, it would definitely wow your audience and whatever you use to implement this content with. So have fun with it, get crafty and ignite it up. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was easy to follow, please give me a like, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials as well, 
as unboxings, reviews, and filmmaking tips and tricks and hacks. Hit that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video, and as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.